All right, so the 12 deliberating jurors are back in the, in the jury box. In addition, we have our alternates seated in the jury box to prevent them from appearing on camera. So those are seats 4 and 11. Uh, in addition, seats 3 and 13 are empty as those jurors have been excused. Madam Foreperson, would you please rise? Madam Foreperson, has the jury reached the verdict? They have, sir. And is that verdict unanimous? Yes. Ma'am, I'm going to read to you each count. Please give me the jury's unanimous response. One, how do you find as to count one endangering the welfare of a child? Guilty. Two, how do you find as to count two murder? Not guilty. Three, how do you find as to the charge of aggravated manslaughter? Guilty. And you did not answer question four? No, sir. At this time, thank you, Madam Forper, you can be seated. At this time, I'm going to poll the jury. Members of the jury, you've heard the verdict as read by your foreperson. At this point, I'm going to ask each juror by number, except the two alternates, to respond yes if the verdict read by the foreperson is your verdict, no if the verdict read by the foreperson is not your verdict. Juror number two. Yes. Juror number three is empty. Juror number four is alternate. Juror number five. Yes. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number seven. Yes. Juror number eight. Yes. Juror number nine. Yes. Juror number ten. Yes. Juror number eleven is an alternate. Juror number twelve. Juror number 13 has been excused. Juror number 14. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Is counsel satisfied that the verdict is unanimous? Yes. At this time, I would ask the clerk to record and note in the minutes that the verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the function you have performed is one of the most important civic duties you can ever be called upon to fulfill. With the return of your verdict, your service in this case is complete. Upon your discharge, you are not required, except upon court order, to discuss your deliberations or verdict with anyone. Additionally, no attorney or party or any person acting on their behalf is permitted under our rules of court to examine you or question you or even to discuss with you your verdict or your deliberations or your role in this matter. In some states, judges are actually able to stay afterwards and speak to the jurors about the experience in New Jersey, judges and attorneys are specifically prohibited from doing that. If anyone approaches you associated with the case, the attorneys or the parties, please notify me immediately. It's possible you may be contacted by others, including members of the media. As you know, obviously we had media coverage in this trial. It will be up to each of you to decide whether or not to speak to those persons or entities about your service as a juror. If you agree to be interviewed, you may discuss whatever you want in whatever manner you deem appropriate. However, I'd ask you to keep these things in mind. The key to your function as jurors has been the free discussion amongst yourselves during deliberations, and the privacy of those deliberations is essential to the continuation of the fair administration of justice. All jurors have the prerogative to keep confidential their communications with their fellow jurors during deliberations. In fact, it is in the public interest that there be the utmost freedom of discussion in the jury room and that each of you be permitted to express your views without concern for public reaction or criticism. Under no circumstances should you make a statement to the media or anyone else that you would not be willing to repeat under oath in court in the presence of your fellow jurors. But on a personal note, I want to thank you for your service. I know we told you in the beginning that it's a civic duty, but this case was a long case. It was difficult scheduling issues, and it was a difficult case with a lot of emotion. I told you we had the best justice system in the world, and one of the reasons, probably the principal reason, is because our Constitution guarantees a right to a trial by jury, and we can't do this without you. It's truly remarkable witnessing this reality and your participation in it. It's not only been my pleasure to have you here, it's been my privilege to have you here. I'm going to give you one final instruction, and I'm sure the attorneys join in that, by the way, uh, our thanks and our appreciation for your attention and also how you've gotten along as a group. But I'm going to give you one final instruction, and that is the Sheriff's Department is going to escort you out that door, out a separate private entrance to the courthouse. Uh, I don't want to risk that somebody who's upset one way or the other comes up to you. They're going to make sure there's plenty of officers taken to your cars. So uh, if you want to exchange some telephone numbers or something like that, if you become friends, I guess you do that quickly because I would really appreciate that you get in your vehicles and you go home and get out of here uh, in the event there's any uh, reaction by anyone. So again, thank you so much for your service. Just hand Corporal Bennett your jury pass on the way out and the verdict sheet. And uh, 
been my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I just ask everybody in the gallery to please remain in the courtroom until the door is up left. The exception being any member of the media that needs to step out for work reasons, you can do that. So. Thank you. Please be seated. All right. Anything from the state? No, Judge. Thank you. Ms. Moore, do we have a sentencing date? Yes, Judge. August 2nd, 1.30 p.m. in person. And that's a Friday? Yes, Judge. Mr. Gallucci, is that acceptable for you? Yes, Judge. All right. Anything else from counsel for the other side? No, Judge. Thank you. All right, defendant was detained pre. Defendant was detained pre-trial. Uh, the jury having found uh, him guilty of aggravated manslaughter, a first-degree crime, and endangering the welfare of a child, the second-degree crime. Order that he be remanded pursuant to Rule Three, Colon Twenty-One Dash Four A, pending sentence. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. Counsel, it was a pleasure to have all of you here. Uh, both sides did an excellent job. Made my job easier. Thank you both. Thank you all for you, I should say. Thank you. You're welcome.